What is going on there, everybody? I'm Tyler. Welcome back to the shop. We're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, a couple of months ago, I did a like one and change year review on the Harvey Alpha table saw. It's a four horsepower table saw made by Harvey. Part of that deal was this Harvey MG36 compass. There's been some controversy, controversy across the uh, the YouTube. Mark Spagnolo, James Hamilton. Uh, having a little spat, friendly spat, about this miter gauge um, and about the cost of it if you were to buy it on its own and some of the downsides of the miter gauge. Um, now, when I did that, that video, that review video, I actually had a few things that weren't so complimentary about the miter gauge. I sent it to Harvey. To my surprise, they said, release it. And oh, by the way, we have an update to the MG36, and let's send that to you so you can see what the difference are. So that's what we got in front of me right here. This will be my first time setting eyes on this. I actually have not opened this up right now yet. So we're gonna cut it open in front of you all. We will see the differences and then I don't actually need two minor gauges. So stay tuned. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this, but somewhere in the video, I will let you know how you can actually be the next person to own this actual miter gauge in front of me right here. I will take the new MG36 out, I will put the old MG36 in and send it to one of you guys, so stay tuned. Also, I do gotta say, this is, if you buy it on its own, a relatively expensive miter gauge, and this is eons far and above and beyond what I used to have on my old Delta Contractor saw that you guys have seen in so many videos. So, is there really room to complain about this? Not really. There's just some things that I need to, that you need to look out for and some things that I pointed out that it appears Harvey has remediated. So that's why they sent it to me and I'm going to let you all know about it. So let's go ahead and cut this open, see what we got and stay tuned because we'll be giving away this actual miter gauge from the DIY Tyler shop to one of you guys. All right, 50-50 chance and you guys got it upside down. So let's get that box out of there. And this is the display for the MG36 that you get on the outside of the box. And when you open it up, it's a very, very well packaged, very beautiful looking setup right here. Nice foam. I mean, this is sturdy stuff right here. And you have the miter gauge laid out inside. All righty. So, seems a little more red than the handle there, but that could just be maybe this faded a little bit than the old one, the OG. This um, micro adjustment at the end looks the same. Again, the red might be a fraction different. Uh, I think we got the brass portion here for the pivot stop. And these, these are 100% different right here. We got one, two, three. We got another one, four here. Oh, let me flip this upside down. This is the OG. We got one, two, three, four, and that's it. We got one, two, three, four, five on this new one. So they moved, uh, it's probably actually in the same spot because we don't have the rail on yet. So that's the same. And then uh, they definitely did add one in the back, which ironically in the back is where there was some slop in the MG36 miter gauge, the, uh, the original one. And that's where I was really noticing it was a little bit of slop in the back, made a big tall cut have a lot of issues. These are definitely different. Where this was a, a tight fitting here with the Allen screw, this one looks to be just a press fitting right here. So you just spin it right in there. It is a off-centered axis there. And then this press fitting, this like butterfly press fitting, is enough to hold everything in place where, as before, with this style, you'd have to loosen, and then you'd have to hold this in place, kind of roll it up against your miter slot, hold it in place with a screwdriver or ice pick, and then tighten down, and hopefully it didn't move around on you. So that seems to be the biggest difference so far, and maybe the only difference so far. Get these guys out of the way so I don't lose them. This, for all intents and purposes, looks to be 
the same. Except for nice and clean. Well, that was pretty easy. I think we're in good shape right there. Like I said, besides a little bit cleaner, doesn't look any different. Locking mechanism in the back seems to be the same. Let me see if I do uh, loosen this. Is there more positive stops on the back? It doesn't appear to be. Nice fresh spring seems to pop in there a little bit better. As you can see, it has a mechanism in here which you can lock back. Um, that's what that's what this locking mechanism and this pivot right here on the front is. You can open that and then this is kind of free floating in there and doesn't lock into any of these positive stops which are at the 0, 22 and a half, 45 and 60 degrees on both sides. With the addition of this, they made the whole rail of the miter gauge a little bit longer. Now, one thing I do need to mention, the Harvey table saw accepts um, like a T-slot washer, and you can see this on the bottom of the miter gauge. So this actually slides into a groove on the Harvey table saw. Now, you can remove that, still use the miter gauge, um, as would be in the typical T-track of a table saw. So if you do happen to uh, win the giveaway for this, which stay tuned for that, you can just remove this and you would be ready to uh, use it on any old table saw with a T-slot gauge. Right, first time going into the Harvey. Definitely tighter, but I think I got to make some adjustments here. And at this point, I'm going to take the Allen and just kind of move this clockwise, move these clockwise until I can feel it grab a little bit of resistance and push the miter gauge over to the left side. Now we're going to have to leave this one alone as we put this back on because now I really want to see and feel what the difference is across the whole bar. This is where I noticed a problem with the old one and I can put the old one on and we can see the difference. Um, so as I rock here, A, I can tell it's not pivoting at all in the back. It's actually pivoting up in the front over here. So we need to tighten these up just a fraction. Now we're very, very steady. I like that as a big improvement. I'm gonna be quiet, I'm gonna do it, and you need to listen. Nothing. I mean, I can wiggle this a little bit if I try, but it's not like before. Now, let me put the old one in and give it a listen. This is the old MG36. Nice and snug everywhere, but listen up, I'm gonna get real close. So you probably can't see too well from there. I'll zoom in a little bit closer, but that little bit of extra miter bar right here makes a huge difference. I mean, you can see this physically move in the back here. Let me zoom in with A, the old one, B, the new one. Big difference you can see right here. Nothing. All right, MG36, new edition. So MG36B or whatever, MG36A, a miter gauge offering from Harvey. Very high quality product. If I was just to hold them up right here, you probably can't tell the difference between the two, but there is a definite upgrade with the newly released version. Now, I don't know that Harvey sells just the miter bar as an accessory update. Maybe Harvey can actually leave a comment in this video, or at least I will update with a comment in the video when I get that answer from them on whether you can just get the bar if that's what you would like to upgrade to get the full brand new offering from this miter gauge, I'll leave a comment down below. That is also how you guys can win this original miter gauge right here from the DIY Tyler shop. Let's keep it simple. Unfortunately, so I don't go broke, let's keep it to our friends in the United States here so that I can afford to ship it to you. 
I am going to take this apart right here. We're going to put it into the same box I just pulled the new MG36 out of. And this is going to go to one of you fine folks. If you leave a comment and a like on this video, it would be awesome if you could share it to one of your friends so that we can help get a little bit of action on this channel. And I will randomly select one of you all and ship this to you for your use in your shop here in the United States of America. This is a very different video from what we normally do on this channel, but something has got to change. So I figured why not give a little review of a new product that I have just gotten in the shop and it's going to be used here for quite some time and then give away a, a rather, a very nice piece of kit to one of you guys and your appreciation for watching that channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the Harvey MG36. Again, leave a comment down in the description below. Tell me where you're from in that comment and I will randomly pick one of you all from the United States of America and ship this to you. Pay attention because I will be reaching out. Please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, Give it a comment, that's what you need to do to enter. And I will pick one of these, one of those to send to you. And be paying attention because I will be reaching out to you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm DIY Tyler, and you guys have a good one.